I'm Nick. I play Fortnite professionally for FaZe Clan, and my main role in team game modes is basically a fragger slash assassin, and today I wanted to go over my key binds in creative sessions. So all my binds are pretty simple binds, because technically they're the default ones. Well, not the old school defaults, but they're similar. And they're really convenient for me because I've just gotten used to them over time when I switched from trying to go pro in Smash Bros to trying to go pro in Fortnite. And technically, yeah, it's just really convenient for me because how I have my keyboard. Like, you notice from my hand cam, I have uh, my keyboard uh, tilted to my left because. Technically, it's just something that's convenient for me because of my binds. Does he do well? Um, if you're trying to get good Fortnite, I'd recommend just practicing in creative. And if you change your binds, uh, I wouldn't recommend changing your binds a lot because that would just be like bad the game if you're using binds that you're not used to. Like angling your keyboard uh, all depends on key binds. Um, one like special thing I use, uh, one like special thing I do that I don't see a lot of pros doing besides Booga is I actually switch between uh, different mice. Like if I want to switch to a mouse but I don't want to buy another one, what I do is I use, uh, I have another one that I have conveniently placed in my room. Because if I want to switch mice, if I don't want to spend money on their one, what I would do was I would like get two different mice. Because technically, if you don't want to buy another one, you can just like pick one of the mice you bought and play with that. But if you change your key binds, I would recommend practicing and creative a lot to get used to your binds. Um, my edit bind is actually mouse button 4, like, I tried the G bind and it made me bad at the game, so what I did was I tried mouse button 4 and it's just really comfortable for me because it's the back side button, especially I have, like, long fingers, so because I have, like, long fingers, I usually grip my mouse with, like, a hybrid grip like Booga does, because it's really convenient for me because of how long my fingers are, and, um, uh, my, um, my keyboard angle is basically, uh, tilted to the left, but by a tad bit, because, believe me, I tried tilt to get to the right, and it, it just didn't work for me, and I have, when I have it tilted to the left, it is just really convenient for me, because angling your keyboard, it depends on keybinds. Yeah, like, there's a lot of keyboard brands out there, like Razer or Matrix or whatever, but I like my SteelSeries Apex Pro because of how fast it is. Like, I'm just build a lot faster, the response time is really great. Especially at the lowest stacuation possible. I, I press the binds and build a lot faster on the Apex Pro keyboard because it's really convenient for me and it's really fast. I like how fast it is. And if you want to use like a different keyboard, that's totally fine. But I would recommend uh, using one with fast switches. Um, one like thing I have on my Apex Pro that you'll notice is blue colored is I actually have rubber keycaps because technically they're rubber keycaps. I, I have better grip on uh, my movement binds, which are the default ones. I never actually used a double movement in my life because I hate the controller movement and all that. No offense to the controller players. I just didn't like the controller movement at all. Just couldn't get used to it. You see that right there? 
That's why you want to pick barns that are really nice for you, because technically, yeah, it just helps you uh, get used to your binds. And technically, like, the more you practice, like, your aim mechanics and building mechanics or whatever, like, the more good you're going to become. It took me two years, because, like... On the OG island, I had no interest in going pro, but now it's chapter 2, I just decided, hey, you know, why don't I try to go pro in Fortnite? Okay. So I decided to practice uh, with different binds, like, and, except for my building, because I'm used to the default building binds. And technically, uh, it just. It's really convenient for me, because the more you practice, the more good you're going to become. And if you don't practice, like, if you're gonna play competitive or something, if you don't practice, believe me, you're gonna do really bad. I mean, I haven't won any tournaments yet, but I'm trying to at least, but I do have support of creator earnings. Like, I'll put my code on the screen right now, but technically, yeah, I'm like, just, I'd recommend practicing in creative if you want to play competitively or go pro. Because the more you practice, uh, the more good you're going to become. Like, there is a aim trainer. I will leave the code to the aim trainer in the description. You can find aim trainers in other vids as well, but I'm going to leave the one. But I'm going to leave the code to the one uh, I use in the description below.